Guys, if you log in today to Dragonair Silent Gods, you're going to notice we have something new on the mailbox and we got some new patch notes. This mailbox contains some new rewards with an epic hero. So, in this video, we are going to talk about in this hero and watch this before you start investing on this hero. Hello guys, Wilson Box here. In this video, we are talking about Isitarian, the character that they are offering to us. They just sent this mail to everyone, giving this one, this Olaf <laughs> hero, and also this epic hero, some Wyrmroll. This is very nice, 250. And just because there was some problems with the um, Kaios universe and storyline, they decided to offer this hero to everyone, this epic hero. But don't invest on him because his hero is not that good. Alright, um, let's have a look at him and his skills. I'm just collecting him, but I did some tests on the test server. And I already knew this hero from, um, from previous tests. And he is not that good. I don't think he's a good hero to invest. Uh, you can spend your bread if you have a lot of bread that you are... You don't know what you, to do with it anymore. You can use it and level up him and test him as well. But don't use scrolls on him. I don't think it's worth it. Okay. So why? Let's talk about him. So the passive skill. He summons. is a summoner. And he summons a dragon remnant. And this and that creature. Basic attack deals AOE. 150% attack percentage. So... The problem here starts that this Dragon Remnant, this AoE is not working. Uh, there are already some content creators complaining uh, about this problem and they reported this situation to the developers and nothing was done until now and it's still not doing AoE. I tried on several situations and the AoE is not working. So it's one negative point for uh, this character. And the other thing is that this Dragon and Remnant, it's half of the damage this hero is going to do. And the problem is like Drist at the beginning, because the, the, the Tiger was dying pretty soon, his HP was very low, so they boost his HP. So now the Tiger survives much more and is able to do more damage. And this hero, he relies on this Dragon and Remnant. Uh, to do damage and the thing is when this dragon remnant dies he's not gonna summon him back so when it dies it dies he's not coming back he's not gonna do damage then the problem is if we check the ultimate he unleashes a fireball at the enemy dealing 360 uh, percentage attack and the dragon remnant does another 360 percent so if this dragon is dead we are just doing 360% attack, which is nothing comparing with all the other heroes we have and all the other options we have. And then on the battle skill, he grants 15% attack up. If we level up this hero, will be 30% attack up to the Dragon Remnant. So if the Dragon Remnant is dead, he's not going to boost his attack percentage. So he's very dependent on the on the dragon. I think they will ch they should change this, especially if they are offering this hero to everyone. I mean, I don't know why they are offering a hero that is not worth it uh, at the moment. I mean, it's nice to offer epic hero, but if he, we are not using him on any situation, uh, we are not going to replace him for any other hero. Why giving this hero? Right? It makes no sense. So, it basically, don't use any scrolls on him, okay? Because if he's dead, we can't give this attack up to him. He's not going to do this 360% damage. And basically, he's, I don't think he's worth it. All the summon, the summon heroes um, at the moment are not that strong. Especially this guy. This guy, there are, have been already a lot of complaints about him. Because he's not working properly. There are some other problems about him, like we are watching in this video I recorded previously on the test server, and here we have uh, Isitarian, okay, and as you guys are gonna see, his targeting, his AI is a little bit dumb, because, 
I'm going to show you guys. His ultimate can hit three of the targets. Three of the targets. And what is happening if you let it on auto is only targeting two targets. So they need to solve this. This is happening with uh, several other heroes. But is also happening with this character. And because of this, one, it's one more reason to not invest on this hero. As you guys can see here as well, uh, we have Drist and Isitarian fighting the Vortex. Just to compare the damage, uh, they are not the damage, the, the HP that their pets are losing. And as you guys can see, the Remnant from Isitarian is losing much more HP than the Tiger. The Tiger is still alive and the other one already dead. He just had a tiny bit of the HP. So as you guys can see, he is much weaker. In this one, I was fighting Grave of Curse, stage 8. Just to see how much Isitarian can survive. And his pet as well, the Remnant. And guys, in here, I'm using a um, Poison Team with a Necrotic character. So he's not getting the Infinity Bonus. So the damage is not that bad. Since he's not getting the attack percentage and everything else. And the problem here is the Remnant needs support as like the, all the other heroes. If he's not getting healing or shield, he's eventually is going to die. And he's not going. this damage from the Isitarian is going to be reduced to half of the damage he can do. Because the, that Remnant is, the, is doing half of his damage. He does half of the ultimate damage and he's also doing 100, 150 as passive damage from Easy Tarion. But it didn't work bad, of course this is stage 8, so was not that hard. Uh, and all the characters, they have a really nice gear. And since I have Frubart there, he was able to keep uh, the Remnant alive and was giving him heal all the time. And after this, I decided to change this team and try it exactly the, the same thing but with a different tank because with this tank he's not giving him heal so I just wanted to test if the remnant would survive the same stage, stage 8 of Grave of Curse and uh, but he's still getting some healing from the other character uh, this one, um, don't remember the name of him now but he's giving some healing with the battle skill as well uh, so that's, that's the reason why the Remnant is not going to die on this fight as well. And the damage again is doing less damage than Eli and is a happy character. So of course uh, we are expecting more. But again the Affinity is not the same one. So was not bad at all. And the Remnant survived all the fight until we kill uh, the Grave of Curse. Finally I did another fight. But this time everyone of the same affinity just to see if the damage from the remnant uh, from Isitar can be uh, comparable to the other characters that can do equal damage. So I have two fire characters, two wild ones and I have the Isitarian and as you guys can see he's doing half of the damage the other characters can do. He's not a great damage dealer of course he, in, in, in this video on this test server is fully scrolled so this is the maximum uh, he could do and he's got a really good gear with nice crit rate attack percentage crit damage everything like the other characters have and he's doing less damage much less damage and the problem is here is uh, if the that permanent dies is going to do half of the damage and this is stage 8, it's not stage 9 if it was stage 9, that remnant that would be dead <laughs> really soon so this is what you can expect from Isitarian uh, I don't think it's worth it uh, if you have a lot of scrolls, I don't think so because we have so many epic scroll, epic characters to use our scrolls so I don't think it's one uh, worth uh, one character that is worth it to invest all your scrolls. You will need around 4 plus 5, 6, 7, 8. He's gonna need 8 scrolls to maximize his damage and he's still not gonna do that big damage. Especially because if you're gonna use him, his Dragon Remnant will be half of his damage and if this Dragon Remnant dies, it's gonna be half of the damage you can do. So I don't think it's worth it at all. 
I don't know why they gave this hero as a reward. I hope they solve all these um, problems with this hero really soon and they improve his damage. That's all for this video, guys. Share your thoughts about this hero. What do you think about him? If he's worth it or not? I don't think so. But if you guys did a different tests with him and we tried with the summoning team and maybe he can do more than it looks, then just share on the comments below. It helps a lot. Just not just me, but all the Dragonair community. So guys, if you like this video, don't forget to press that like button, subscribe to my channel for follow more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.